This mm. new law actually tries to change the balance between the democracy in Israel and Israel as a Jewish state. How would you reply to these uh, uh, sort of criticism coming from within your own country? Well, first of all, because Israel is a free country and a democratic country, it is natural for us to have arguments about every, every uh, event and every opinion. This is very good. But at the end of the day, Israel is a Zionist state because a Jewish democratic state is a, a mechanism that was invented by Zionism. And this mechanism brings more human rights and stability than any other country in the Middle East, including Turkey and Egypt and other countries. So let's, again, give respect to this country. Now, let's not forget, the Christian population in Israel is getting bigger than and in other areas in the Middle East, just getting smaller. Arabs in Israel getting much more rights than any other place. So I think to defend the character of Israel as a Jewish democratic state is to, to defend, again, the, the only mechanism who defend human rights. Uh, at the end of the day, human rights is what is important here. Uh, uh, children's really? chi rights. And when we are looking at the children, and when I measure a uh, life of children in Israel, and also in Judea and Samaria, comparing to what is going on in Syria, comparing what is going on in Gaza, comparing what is going on in other places in the Middle East, I know that this country needs to defend its own character. And what to do? This character is a, a Jewish democratic state. So we are very proud of it, not only because of historic reasons, but also, again, because it provides more human rights and stability to all, to women, to LGBT, to minorities, and we are proud of it.